Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Italy. Yet again. That, that moment when I don't remember what episode we're on. Episode number nine. Because um, we had that two-parter last time. So here we are. I have this terrible fear as well, by the way, <clears throat> that this series is going to go the same route as Great Britain. And I started to like, I don't know, I was just daydreaming about this kind of. Um, for a little while, I, I was playing out in my mind the different similarities. If you remember in the British series, things were going okay for at first, but then um, when we got into that three-way war or whatever, we lost a few ships. We didn't even lose any of the wars terribly, but what I think the game does is snowballs horribly out of control only for the player nation. Um, I think this is because we are, like somebody mentioned, this is actually what triggered this um, line of reasoning. We never go to war, uh, the AI nations never go to war with each other. All the wars are directly through the player. So if the player loses significantly one war um the problem is the other ai nations didn't lose anything so if you end up if you, let's say i go to war with france and you know we both destroy some of our ships and then i end up even going even with them but i lose a few ships and then i go to war with russia russia has not had any perturbations in its budget has not lost any ships and despite the fact that of course at the same time they haven't had the major budget increase due to being at war the cost of losing a ship, I think, is much worse than the, you know, it doesn't make up for it, the extra budget you get. That's just a hypothesis. I haven't sat down and looked at the numbers or anything, but, uh, yeah, we always start off these episodes with a, a small talk of some sort. So that's the initial blog to begin this episode. Let's get into it, though. Um, but that's something to keep in the back of your mind, and it's what I'm keeping in the back of mine is these wars end up being really painful because losing any ships at all, and we've lost a few, ends up putting you so far behind in the future wars. So even if we win this one, we have to win it so convincingly, and I think that that's why it's like you almost have to go for broke. Or if you get an unlucky first war, it's almost better off to restart the game, which we won't do. We'll try to struggle through, but I don't know. Basically, as I play this game more and more, and my min-max... Uh, tendencies come out more and more. I think I, I notice these little fringe cases more and more. So we'll um, let's increase tensions as much as possible with the lower group because I need the extra money. We're doing okay on money actually, but um, this monthly balance just fluctuates so wildly from turn to turn. Okay, they sink two ships. There's a raid on enemy <coughs> coastal shipping. Excuse me. Um. It is a fleet battle. I will accept. I think they'll decline. They do. Uh, we don't have any forces there, so we will decline this one. Why? Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm confused why the first one was worth 60 victory points for the French to decline when battleships were involved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, armored cruisers is 140 victory points for me to decline. If these things were all set out and the rules were followed, uh, it would be a lot... I mean, basically, we, we lack clarity as the player. We lack a lot of clarity in this. Doesn't look like we're blockading them anymore. How are our forces doing? The Etna probably has to come home now. Let's take a look at how things are here. What I mean is, there's not, there doesn't seem to be consistency with things. I lo They lost 60 victory points for declining. I lost 140 victory points for declining. Now, maybe there's a mechanism to that. Maybe if you're declining a fleet battle outside of your home, no, that was outside of their home. I don't know, maybe there's some weird logic. Oh, if it's armored cruisers, or if you don't have any ships in the area whatsoever, then declining costs double. But there's no clarity on here, so it's hard to... Um, it, it It's easy for anybody, just observation bias, to start perceiving the game as <laughs> cheating, basically. <laughs> so I, I don't know how to say it. That's basically what I'm insinuating. Yeah, they did move two armored cruisers, a light cruiser back, and eight of their destroyers, which means that let's pour on the pressure in the Mediterranean. And we have the we have the three to one ratio necessary for invasions, so let's bring the Etna back. <clears throat> Perfect timing. If we can force an invasion, that would be even better. The best case scenario is force an invasion, take a colony, and then cause their government to collapse by blockade. And we're not too far away from doing that, considering eight more months and we'll have another battleship out, which should increase our already substantial lead. So it's four to, they have 
no battleships remaining? How did I not know that? They have no battleships left. I, d I did not realize they have no battleships left. Now, who knows, maybe in eight months one of them will be out, but it'll still be five to one. Um, six to two here. That's not likely to change anytime soon. If it does at all, it'll change in their favor. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Mm. No, handle it quietly. We, this is the only nation we need not to go to war with us is Austria-Hungary. Okay, better machinery is good. There, I need to do some more raiding, I forgot. A fleet battle. Well, speak of the devil, I guess they have a battleship which has emerged. <clears throat> Darn it, I wish I had paid more attention, and I didn't, sadly, but how many victory points was it? did it say declining would cost me? Was it 100? Only 100? Now, what's our ratio here? They, in fact, don't have a battleship. It's 35 to 14, which is not 3 to 1, unfortunately. But they have enough back at home to prevent me from blockading there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, well, one more month and we'll have two more big ships out. That might tilt the advantage in my favor in terms of possible invasions. Yeah, we have another light cruiser out. She's working up still, but I have to say we're in... Like, next month, we'll have all our main ships back as well. <clears throat> I don't think we need to increase dock size beyond 23,000. I mean, I, I would like it, but... How expensive are you? 3.2. Hmm. Basically, uh, after, like, 25, 26... Uh, probably around 30,000, actually, is the break point, where it no longer really matters. Your dock size is sufficient. You can build really good ships at 30,000. Endgame ships, even. So we'll do it one more time, because that'll get us up to 25. Your moves are by two, even though the private economy moves them by one. Okay. Another thing we haven't done is increased intel efforts with anyone. That's right, I was going to save my budget for intelligence espionage only when they get some technology ahead of us. Okay, this is a good event, thank god. 50 million has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. If you do not build a battleship, you may become the focus of some displeasure. I will happily <laughs> build a battleship. Oh, I must have two. Well, that, that actually makes sense because we have one currently building. A destroyer raid. Do I dare accept it? I don't have any destroyers. Declining this gives enemy 50 victory points. Hmm. Why am I considering this so heavily? I mean, why why not just accept? I think accepting will... Let's just see what happens. If I accept, does it bring me in with light cruisers? I prefer not to fight this battle, but my curiosity is outweighing that. I want to know, if I accept, does it decline? Does it force me to decline by increasing my... And, I'm sorry, and therefore increase the number of victory points I lose by declining? I mean, because if it's a cruiser... I mean, if it's a destroyer raid and I have a destroyer, I would, I mean, a light cruiser, I was complaining about the game doing this to me in the other way several times, but if it's happening in my favor for once, what, a destroyer raid, I don't understand, am I supposed to go after them? I will, I suppose, but I'm so glad that the screen more or less automatically adjusts. One thing we could do is maybe go a little higher there, probably a little lower here. Mitch. Okay, so because yeah, I used to do the game window like this, but I was a little worried that it would uh, get cut off when I switched to battle, so I left the top part on. Okay, so we have uh, like a very, very long time, almost a full day, to go find some ships and sink them. And we are given a marker, so we should have some ships over here. Turns out we do. I'm not. I don't think that we're going to be facing. Oh, we could be facing armored cruisers, but if we don't, I'm not going to try to increase my speed too much. In fact, let's just be very precise about this. I'm going to tell them not to even engage until we're just right on top of them. Until we can see the whites of their eyes. 
That looks good. Okay, you can engage now. It's a few good hits. And I think that's already enough. Do one more pass. Okay, that's good, but... Uh, okay, let's move on to the next target, wherever she may be. Okay, what are you? You look like you're going... This is a destroyer, I think. And she's going into port. And I don't want to fight that land feature. Can we add, this would be nice to sink an actual destroyer. <laughs> of course we have to weigh the disadvantage of being shot by that. Oh, we actually hit it. What are you by the way? And I don't understand why they can't just go into port. One four inch gun, two, four two inch guns. This is <laughs> by far one of the strangest configurations I've seen. <clears throat> A terrible configuration really, if you ask me. If I'm forced to weigh in, that's what I would say. I mean, this is important enough that I think we'll sit here and brave... Okay, there's the unknown ships probably coming in to help. Let's... This might be the armored cruisers. For now, I'm going to ignore it until I get a better identification. I wish we could hit... Okay, let's just be a little bit safe now and start pulling away. Ah, okay. Then I will change my mind and go after them. Ah, yes, the old bait and hook. No, what? All destroyers? Okay, well, this is something very nice. I want to play this slowly because I don't want to get my light cruiser sunk. Obviously, the worst case scenario. So, mainly, we just have to worry about their torpedo raids. Let's keep going for a while. We're on the wrong side. I'm gonna risk it just to get, excuse me, part of me coming through. Oh, we got one of them, good. Now we're on the correct side. That felt safe to me. I was trying to do it right behind the group that I didn't think would launch anything at me. Yeah, we're doing okay as far as torpedo range goes. Just got to keep this distance more or less. Gonna do it again. Okay, good. I don't know, I guess we could cut behind them again. Like so. Nice, got another one. And they keep taking the wind side, which is fine. I'll just cut behind this guy again. We can lure this one in. They might actually be going back. Is that, is he going back home? I'm pretty okay with this. Uh, yeah, we're still doing okay as far as damage goes. Okay, vision is fading. They're getting a little bit close for comfort. Let's do this. Let's go after this wounded one. Like the Lions on the Serengeti, we hunt wounded prey first. Have not, have yet to hit it, sadly. Okay, I know these unknown ships, I know what they are. I, it sank. Very good. So, I think we've gone and sunk two destroyers, perhaps. Now, it's nighttime. Let's just get out of here. I don't even know if this will count as a victory point, because if you leave surviving merchant ships, we'll go up this way. How about this? We'll go up the coast, so just in case we find another merchant ship, um, we'll pluck them out. It would be, it'd have to be very fortuitous for us to actually encounter it. It's about over. Yeah. Okay, so there were no other heavier ships. We only sank one destroyer. Dang, I thought we had that other one kind of... Um, I think it was dead stop, but maybe it was... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a minor victory. Um, yeah, we missed that one, but we were close. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it, it was a very simple battle. 
more of an experiment than anything, but we'll take the victory nonetheless. Okay, now France has laid down a magenta class. Let's take a look. What do they have available to themselves now? Oh, they laid down. Okay, it has not been commissioned. Okay, right. Hmm. So they have a few more of these really terrible armored cruisers. Looks like only three are real, four, five. Five of their six existing armored cruisers right now. Now wait, we have two, do they have seven total? They do. Okay, so the seven, um, five of their seven are, are legit, but two of them are just strategic armored cruisers. Uh, okay, well that's okay. Uh, do we wanna build something? We do have this money to build a battleship. We haven't really got the technology. I'm gonna wait six months and then may, I might just cheese the system. I might start building a, um, a battleship just in time for the to have it, and then I might scrap it right away. So just so we can keep the 50 million and do something else with it. What else are we gonna do with it? That's a great question. We really ought to get a few more light cruisers still. So that's a concern. Okay, good, we have better torpedo technology, which means actually we might have been close enough to their de destroyers for them to launch. Wow, they left the same five ship, damn it. And I forgot to put my ships on rating. That's a lot, that's a lot of ships. We'll definitely accept this because it's large. We have armored cruisers, they have armored cruisers. They keep declining. So if they keep declining, this is like the smart situation. I think I, this was my plan when I was playing as the Confederate States of America, just to decline all battles and let your rating but eventually we'll get an unexpected battle, I, in theory, I should say. I hope. How are we doing? Well, we're exactly at the 3 to 1 ratio, so that leaves me that leaves me thinking that we should just stay here and hope we can force an invasion. Um, yeah, another... I mean, let's accelerate this ship as well. Why not? Uh, no. I'll do all my ships at the same time. Do not let them get off lightly. Enemy coastal raid, decline that, 85. Okay, that's the only event battle we were offered. I'm okay to decline that. Um, is it worth going into? Yes. So they pulled their fleet here, well, not even here, somewhere to prevent, um, well, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, we're only three points over the, the invasion cap. Which means I can send exactly one light cruiser to raid and still have the supply. I'm basically, I just ought to wait for our battleship to finish first. Okay, let's do it that way. And what do we, uh, we have like one more month before we absolutely have to be building. Wait, did we already get, build requirements is none. Do they not? Do they no longer care about our battleship. <laughs> what what happened that? Hmm. Excuse me. Um. I I meant to say what happened there, but. All right. If they don't care, I don't care. Convoy attack. I will accept this. They keep declining. Eighty-five. Well. I hate enemy coastal raids. I'll decline this. Should be an even exchange of victory points, more or less. <sighs> How are we doing now? We just need to keep this map up. 51 to 16 still. They have nothing home. I'm so tempted to just move in to their home base. I, we're going to get such an amazing effect. Forget the invasion for the moment. Let's do it. Let's move both my armored crew. Well, yeah, let's just move both back into Northern Europe for a turn and see what happens. I'm pretty sure that'll end up being a blockade. One thing we could do with the extra money is we could build a few more of our minesweepers. These are what we're going to need these for sure, right? And I like having them a lot. So this will be another million. Let's not do that many. Let's do six, perhaps. OK. Seems like a reasonable thing for me. 
Destroy raid again. 55 points. I mean, it's just, it's not really exciting. I, I would accept this if I was min-maxing and playing the whole campaign out, but almost for entertainment purposes, I feel like I should decline. Ah, uh, I guess we'll accept. It's better than having, like, an enemy coastal raid or whatever, all the other silly battles. And it gives us a new ship this time. That's nice. Let's see where... Where... Okay. So we'll go this way again. Same... Same story. Okay, way up. All right. This could be an armored cruiser. That's why I'm not pursuing at max speed yet. They look like they are zipping along. That was probably a destroyer or a light cruiser. Yep, we'll catch it again. The fact that our vision range, it's catch it's being caught so close in our vision range. Okay, that is probably a an armored wait a second. Okay, light cruiser. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go squad max. Oh, it's a destroyer. Well, that's still something. It's gonna make for home port, I believe. If it gets caught on that edge, it's not going to. Darn it. If it goes right in, that's fine, but we'll try to chase it to fire a few shots. Are you going to disappear? No. Okay, we'll see if we can land any shots. It's basically at the extreme range of our 6-inch guns, though. Yeah, it's going to be extremely hard. This is probably a waste of time for us to try to pursue it. Oh, what? Did did we actually... Oh, we did. Got a hit. Okay, so if they happen to come this way, we're okay. Alright, well, let's just wiggle around this edge then. Aha! An unknown ship. Well, let's just go after this. Let's just, <laughs> I can't wait forever. I'm trying not to go very fast because these destroyers can outrun me. Oh, another one. Man, they're all over the place. These destroyers can go faster than me if they really want, so I don't see the point of going to squad max until I get really close, but now, now I can. Let's see, this is going to be a force to get really close. We land one hit. Is that just one? Slow down to 18. I was hoping we'd catch them anyway. We didn't see any of their ships. Well, kind of miserable engagement. This is definitely going to be less fun than the previous one. Do not hold fire. Got him. Got him. Got him. This is probably a dead ship. We don't know. At night, I know you're more prone to miss what you believe. Oh, it's a minesweeper. Okay, well, that's not interesting. It's a ship, though. We sank one ship. Hooray. Hurrah. Down to 16, and up in speed we go. Let's see if we can catch someone else. I feel like this is like my patrol patterns um, in Silent Hunter. <laughs> it's probably another destroyer here, but she's gonna hide. Um, we got another one? Okay. Well, is this yet again too far to actually engage them? They're hiding the transports in here. They're they're smart. I wish I could give an order to hide my transports in port. That would be really nice. This is a nice trick. You've done well. I just I don't know if I should waste time trying to sink these or just move on. I don't think the game can end until they're out of range or whatever. 
But this is just going to be boring. I just wish I had sank more than one ship because it said my objective was to sink two ships. Technically, these are in range for a very short amount of time. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that we get lucky here. I need to like time it so that they see we're over now. We have to wait. <laughs> Maybe I can get them up here. Come on, just sink. <laughs> oh man, the only way I can, the only way to win was not to play at all. Ah, that was close. Felt like we could have got that one in. Okay, well, I wish we could go faster than this. Okay, it didn't let me, but that's fine. Still marginal victory for us. We sank one official ship, I think. It barely, barely a victory. It's just not worth it. Not worth it for three. Oh, I am blockading them. I was wondering where this B came from, but that makes sense. So, mission accomplished. That was exactly what we intended to do. And now we've done it. So, they moved a lot of, fl of their fleet here. So, it's perfect timing. We exactly counteracted their, their um, maneuver. Unfortunately, still no colonies being taken. I mean, there's so many juicy targets here. But we can't expect much from the from the Italian army. <laughs> if history <laughs> has anything to say about that. Hmm. Still this massive budget. It's hard to say. Okay, that is even better. And actually, we should be really going at it I will convoy attack, sure. So it should be just free points, I guess, since they shouldn't have any anybody in this area. I'd love it if they did, actually, but maybe a destroyer or something? There's nothing that they have that we can't take on with armored cruisers because they don't have any battleships. Oh my gosh, if there's actually a, a light cruiser here, I will be so happy. We're going to let all the forces get identified and all that, and then we're not going to speed up. Even though this is a light cruiser and I definitely want to sink that, we're not going to sink that. We're not going to attempt to sink it until we've mowed through all their transport ships. And it is a light cruiser. We've actually identified it as a Tage class. But first, let's just plow through all these. Oh, there are some destroyers here we have to be a little bit careful about. And actually, an armored an armed merchant cruiser as well. So I'm going to speed up to squad max. Let's go after the Tage now. Uh, if, between the armed merchant cruiser and the light cruiser, obviously, it's much more important to get the light cruiser. I think this is a 4-inch gun. Nope, it does have two 6-inch guns, but 21 knots, which means that we actually have the same speed as it. Which means bad things. It's taking a few hits, not going to help it at all. Very, very, very effective fight. This is going to be great. Now, I feel for the French right now, because this is about all the fights that I've been doing. <laughs> we should note, of course, the times when we have the, the correct engagement, the advantaged engagement. So that is this turn, I mean here. So let's go get this armored cruiser now. I'm just imagining that we've already sunk that light cruiser. Looks like they're picking up, I think they still get points, victory points for picking up survivors even though the ship that picked up the survivors then sinks itself, which is very unusual, definitely. <laughs> okay, a few hits here and that should go down. That's, I'm sure that one is has been mopped up. So it really reduces your victory points. And I, you know what, I should have gone to Admiral's mode. I don't like to micromanage so much, but we could have gotten a 10% addition to our victory point after this, just by going to Admiral's mode. We don't have multiple di divisions, so we don't need to control multiple divisions, right? Makes sense. Unknown ship. Um, that's the sinking armored cruiser, armed merchant cruiser, AMC. Let me just call it AMC. Uh, that's the sinking one. It's on fire, so we can see it from quite a distance away. 
Okay, just a little bit longer. One more, and then uh, and then we get a break. Okay, let's go to cruise. This one's over. <laughs> we sank every single one. Light, one light cruiser, two destroyers, eight, all sank. Well, that's refreshing. And it was done very quickly as well. Wow, zero victory points. That's so rare that you, you see that. Well, that's going to help with the blockade, obviously. <laughs> uh, a happy moment in the uh, Italian Navy. A victory at no cost whatsoever. I didn't check to see if anybody even landed a hit on our armored cruisers. I'm sure that none of them penetrated, because otherwise that would have been damaged and it would have counted as victory points. But, yeah, they, they don't have a single ship in their home waters. So that blockade is being very effective now. Um, let's move this Pilato home just because she is, she does have that star, she's only unfair, you know, we'll just get her out, there's a chance that she um, might be interned if we don't move her out, the star just basically means they're running low on supply, I think it's, I always treat it as an indication you should move them home, how are we doing here, well, man, we're still ahead on victory points, so at least, that's the good news, is right, we're not going to be blockaded ourselves, Okay, and yeah, we do have this 50 million, 56 million now that I'm still debating what we should do with it. There's probably some logic. I'm, I'm just like wondering. Build more light cruisers is, is part, part, what part of me says. We should probably make it a new class, even though the Quartier Reality is not very old. Um, we could maybe base it on the Quartier Reality. Let's open this design. So we get a 10%. Uh, so we get a, I forget what the, when you develop it from another class and you only change it by 10% tonnage or you don't change the gun caliber or anything like that, I forgot what the advantage is. Like one thing I'd like to do is, can we still get the advantage? Yeah, so I, this should make a huge difference. You know what, it only changes by 250 because this is going from turrets, true turrets to gun shields. Yeah. So look at the difference from two, some 1.5 to two is about 40. Two to 2.5 is like almost, almost 400. It's like 375 or something like that. And then from 2.5 to three is only another 75. So this is the difference between shielded mounts and full turrets. So it's pr pretty much the worst min-max optimal. <laughs> it's exactly the worst to do 2.5 inch turrets. We'd probably would be better off doing this and then using the extra for speed or something. I mean, we can get two full knots just by reducing that a little bit and probably knocking out a few. Nah, is that enough to get? We could do 135. That's a bit low. Um, we'd probably just... Oh, we just increased the tonnage by one. Da -da -da -da. Increased 24. Really not bad. We can get, you know, 160, 170 even. Ah, wait. It's saying we're now too far gone. Uh, maybe the speed can only... 30% change, okay. This is a 30% change? Let me go back to the original. We have a 10% change already. Ah, right. I have to open design for rebuild. No, but I don't want to do that way. I, do, I really do need to open design. It's already changing by 10% because... Um, just weight savings. I already have some weight savings here. Interesting, it does not let me change the speed by 10%. I thought everything had to be within 10%. The, the tonnage, the speed, all the things had to be within 10%, and you couldn't change the main gun caliber. But I am not exactly sure how this developed from class thing works. And I thought I knew, so this is now something I'll have to look into. So that means that if we want to build a new light cruiser, we will simply build an entirely new class. I'm going to save that for the next episode if we do it, so I'm going to call this episode to a close. A lot of rambling, a lot of talk. We didn't advance very far in the war, although I would say a substantial shift in the war has been made. Not necessarily just through this episode, but the last one as well. Well, it was the result of the last episode, the last fleet battle. Now we're in control of the waters, and we accept the fleet battles that we want. We win them. Um, our lead should be increasing, and I think it is. Our, the only thing we have to worry about is unrest. 
and we haven't seen any indications that they're concerned. Oh, right, before I forget, let me get all three of my light cruisers to go to rating. And yeah, again with here, with these ships, I think I'm going to stop building Quercia Reale class. Although part of me thinks, we, I mean, I know we need some more light cruisers. We could also get another armored cruiser instead. Can we just, I mean, prolong this episode one more moment just to see what the armored cruiser might look like. I'm, I'm a big fan of 9-inch nine, nine guns. I think 9-inch guns are actually better. This is a kind of a bizarre design, though, considering we have quality 0 6-inch guns. We have quality 0 8-inch guns, which would be interesting. This would almost be like a semi-dreadnought armored cruiser. <laughs> a semi-battle cruiser. <laughs> There's no such thing, but I'm, I'm making the, this in-between class. Um, the speed would be amazing. It, it would be pretty powerful. Huh. I probably could be persuaded to do something like this. I would want deck of two. That would be fine. I mean, if in the... F yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Conning tower is way too high. Gosh, turd. Holy cow. Seven is insane. I think we'll take it down to like six. 6.5 maybe. Turret top of two. Secondary is down to two. I'm going to humor us for a moment and see what, what kind of... I mean, look, I just adjusted several things and we're actually looking pretty good. Now, I strongly dislike having secondary guns almost at the same... Can we do... I don't think we have this technology yet. Oh, we do. I, I really hate when there's a half. I really hate that this game even allows you to do it because sometimes the min-max best is to choose 14 instead of 12 or 16, but it means you have three and a half double turrets, which doesn't make any sense. So we'll just pretend that it's three um, double turrets and one single turret, and I'm gonna stop to, to worrying about getting exact double turret numbers. Um, this is a pretty darn good ship. Oh, okay, what if we took this up? I think it's doable even then. I mean, we could just go insane with this. 14,500, speed of 24. I don't want to pay the maintenance on this, I can tell you that much. It's going to be very expensive. Oh, and that does remind me, one of the things we have to do... Oh, we have tertiary guns on this. But you know what? It actually needs tertiary guns if we use secondary guns as we have them. Eight three-inch guns per side? Well, that makes sense because we do have the quality one. So, yeah. I mean, this is a very strange design, but I'm, I'm not too unhappy with it. 10 inch guns. I mean, it looks like it's just a whole bunch of all the same. Actually, what if we did this instead? What if we did this instead? Okay, now we have a four-sided broadside. I, did these turrets? Yeah, they can shoot a little bit more forward. It's not going to help to, totally, but I kind of like this as well. This might be a better way of going about it, just adding a little bit of their broadside capability. Yeah, I, I have to say I do like that. Okay, but that's enough. We'll call this episode to a close. It's a, there's a lot of interesting designs you can go through, and this is, of course, the beauty of this game. In my opinion, the best part of this game is making ship designs. So that's... I think I prefer that over a new light cruiser, even though we definitely need a new light cruiser more. Oh, but then the strategic side of things. Should we be getting a strategic armored cruiser, like the computer likes to make? Something which is what get like eight inch guns on it and basically make it an armored cruiser so it has to be fast to do this oh god oh right <laughs> okay three make this two 
two, one, take this down to seven, take this down to four, two, two, that's fine with me. In fact, could probably even do no armor for the secondaries. Wow, we're, so we're still grossly overweight. 23? We do need her to get away, but <laughs> we even broke the schematic because it's too small. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the solution is here. Oh, right. We want to delete the, you know, basically just clear all turrets and only give me those. Now we're closer. So I can get mine for like 9,500. That's, geez. I guess you have to make a lot of sacrifices. Uh, deck extended one, deck extended zero. Eh, what's the difference, right? Um, 2 point, now I want 3, I'll go to 3.5, 0, now we're cooking, hooray, <laughs> I don't think this is a, a great ship, I would take this down actually, to get more ammunition, definitely. I like that. Okay, that's not terrible either. Jeez, I, I, we can't get away. Designing ships is too much fun. We've been doing it for 10 minutes or so. One advantage of making armor cruisers instead of light cruisers is we get around the light cruiser armor configuration as well. So these would be much, like, far superior to a normal light cruiser because of that. And also have the strategic points, you know, that one advantage. Unfortunately, they'd be gunned down so easily by battle cruisers, which is why I don't like them. Because you end up losing victory points so quickly with these ships in the game later on. <sighs> okay, enough, enough for me. Call this episode to a close. Hopefully make uh, some kind of conclusion off camera about what I'm going to do, and we'll march forward with the war in the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching, and take care.